Hey guys, man, I was trying to get that straight before it went live. Never happens. It's like teetering. It's crooked, shaky, who knows? We'll see. My light's in the way. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It is a gorgeous day here. Well, okay, maybe not gorgeous, but better. We've had some gross, like, gloomy, sticky weather the last few days. I walked this morning and it was like 72 and about 100% humidity and it was almost making me feel sick, sick to my stomach. It was so just, ugh. <sighs> it's the beginning of all of that here for sure. Hello, hi, it's good to see you guys. Um, Happy Friday. I'm excited for you guys to see what I have for you today. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at myself on Facebook. Oh, you know, I will tell you guys, though, I have tried out the new, there's new software, the fancy flipping software. I've tried it. It's easy. I, I'm not brave enough to do it live, though, yet. <laughs> One of these days, maybe next week, we'll have like a test live where you guys just come and show up and, and just be nice as I try to make it work. <laughs> it's, I don't know why it makes me so nervous to try a new live software this software i can go live to youtube and facebook at the same time and it really isn't that hard i just the last time i tried it it the it was stressful and the quality was terrible so now i'm nervous but anyway hello it's so good to see you guys today um i am super excited about these projects i'm using the kite delight stamp set which is from the spring catalog if you know me this is this is the kind of stamps that i like like bold images that are just black line where we can color them. Um, it's my favorite. So I have been holding out on this stamp set until we got into the spring. I really love it. But what's making it even better is that we are using the new in colors. Now the new in color products, I'm using a lot of them today, the ink, the blends, the DSP, the cardstock, none of that is available until May 3rd. So today is a sneak peek. Okay, so if you go tonight and try to order those new colors, you won't be able to order them. Um, this is, I always tell you guys, this is a really weird time for demonstrators because we're like, you know, like one foot in the old catalog, one foot in the new catalog. And I've told you guys this before, the old catalog is dead to me <laughs> once I see that new catalog. So it's very hard for me to focus on what's still available. Um, so this is this will be the last Facebook Friday I do until the new catalog. I'm taking next Friday off. There will be no Facebook Friday next week. It takes me a whole week to really pull everything down, um, switch out all the new for the old, and I and I have to design some things for next month, so I'm giving myself a week off ne next week. There won't be a Facebook Live, but I do have a bunch of new projects for you. So today is like a sneak peek before the new catalog. And then week after next, we'll have some fun celebrating the new catalog. Okay. All right. I want to show you um, some things I got in the mail. Um, this card is from Chris. And this is a slimline card. Have you guys made these? I hope I'm even saying it right. Slimline card. I made the very first one ever. You'll see it today. We're not making it today, but it'll be on my blog on Monday. It's these long, skinny cards. They've been very trendy the last probably a couple of years. They fit in like a regular envelope, you know, like a legal envelope that you would mail like a bill in. Um, and they're really fun. So Stampin' Up! has these dies right now in the spring catalog for this kind of card. So anyway, Chris sent me this card. Gorgeous. Um, and I want to make sure, yes, from Chris. Sometimes I worry. Oh. Chris sent me this card. Um, they're really fun, um, these cards, and they're different. And there's many slimline cards. Um, anyway, they're they're trendy, and it kind of gives you a whole new, I don't know if you guys were ever scrapbookers, but if you, I remember when I went from eight and a half by 11 scrapbook pages to 12 by 12, and you had like this whole different landscape to work with. That's how I feel with these. Um, it's just a whole different feel. Um, a number nine envelope, Peggy says. Thank you. I, I don't know what the, those names are. I just call it the long and skinny envelope. But anyway, Chris, adorable. I love it. I think this is that new, um, I almost called it Tempting Turquoise, the new Tahitian Tide color. Beautiful. Thank you, Chris. Chris always sends me gorgeous cards. Um, this one is from Darlene. This is a thank you card. My favorite colors. Thank you, Darlene. 
cute little stamp on the back too with her name on it. I always forget to do that. Very cute. Pink and black, always my favorite. Now, I can't remember, I think I might have showed you this, you guys this card and I can't remember, so I'm showing it again from Sharon. It is a super uber fancy fold. Okay, watch. Do you see that? Like what in the heck? I, look at it, I don't even know. This is like the super fanciest card I've ever looked at. I thought maybe I could case this, but this is, this is, like, this is an, a, a work of engineering. <laughs> it's really cool, Sharon. I'm super impressed. So thank you very much. Um, I bet it's called something like a sliding window card. And it's got that cute little lay button. Anyway, I just, I was like mesmerized with that card. Um, let's see. This card is from Cheryl. I love this. Cheryl used, let me show you, well, let me show you the card first beautiful. Cheryl used the DSP, look, like this. She cut the DSP and then put the, the little note on the inside. That's really clever. That, that I think that's going to have to definitely go in my case pile. That's a good way to use some of your DSP. If you're like me, you have a ton of DSP. Um, Nina says, let's have a fancy fold class. You know what, Nina? I, I think about that all a lot. That in a technique class, I always feel super pressured because what I consider a technique or what I consider a fancy fold maybe isn't what everybody considers a technique or fancy fold. The pressure, it's too much pressure. So I just work them in, but, but I know they're very popular. Anyway, thank you, uh, Cheryl, very much. That's a really cool card. Now, this was really fun. I got a box last week. Like literally, my husband came home right after Facebook Friday and he threw me this box and it said fragile on it. We call him bear paws because he's like a bear, like, er, you know, like a bull in a china shop. He literally like chunked it at me and had this big fragile sticker on it. Anyhow, it was fine. Vicki, thank you very much. Vicki sent me this beautiful card, but I have to show you, let me take the note out of it. Um, I have to show you what else she sent, what was fragile. She sent me this really, really cool thing. It looks like it's made with a 3D printer, right? Look at all the possibilities for organization. She said she thought this would be good for Facebook Friday. Then maybe I could find <laughs> my bone folder. I could find my take your pick tool. Um, and she bought it from her friend's business called The Country Hive. Vicki, I see you're here. If you wanna share your friend, if she has a link, like an Etsy shop or something, if you wanna share it in the comments, please do. This is awesome. I wish I was smart enough to make things on a 3D printer because then the possibilities are like endless. That is super cool. I will be placing it over here. It's got slots, you know, for all your little tools and then like post-it notes and your adhesive uh, dimensionals. Really, really cool. Vicki, thank you. Bear Paws did not break it. <laughs> It made it all the way through the postal service, and then my husband didn't break it either. So thank you very much. Uh, Yvonne says she needs, she thinks she needs it. So uh, Vicky, share share the link, okay? Tell your friend she's does awesome work. All right, I'm going to switch you guys down. Um, I have some things to show you before we get started. I got my paper pumpkins just a couple days ago, and I haven't even opened it. Oh, blending brushes, Michelle. That's a very good idea. That would hold a lots of blending brushes. You are correct. Okay, hold on. Sorry if I'm making you nauseous and dizzy and all that. Okay, so this month's paper pumpkin came and I haven't even opened it. I, as always, I have a few extras if you need one. Um, this month, I can't even remember what it is. Butterflies, cute. Every day is a new day. I'm so proud of who you become. May this new season hold wonderful experiences. I believe in you. Oh, that's neat. And a melon mambo. Oh, my all-time favorite color. Did you know that the employees at Stampin' Up, they hand pack these in like an assembly line? Some of the components come already put together, but then they, I think like this part comes to the warehouse and then they all stand in a line and they pack all these boxes of the tissue paper and the, I've seen, I've seen them do that. That's amazing. Anyway, oh my gosh. Okay, this is really cool. Um, Paper Pumpkin is a subscription kit, if you didn't know. It comes every month, and it's a surprise. Um, the guys that are in charge of Paper Pumpkin at Stampin' Up! are like marketing geniuses. We always get like 
some kind of hint, sneak peek, some kind of, you know, fun theme. Um, look how beautiful these colors are. Um, wow, this is really cool. So anyway, I think there are nine cards. Let's see. Oh, I love that. Um, some die cuts. You get the stamp set and the spot. Um, there's the other one. Oh, look, it's got, oh, that's adorable. That's really cute. Um, so if you, if I know sometimes like your credit card didn't get charged and then you missed it or whatever. If you, if that's you, let me know. I've got some extras. Um, next month is all the new in colors. It says, oh, and okay, this is really cool. They've never done this before. Next month, all subscribers of the May 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit will have a chance to win a golden voucher inside their Paper Pumpkin box. So then here's my question. You know, I always order extras. Do I open the extras to see if the golden voucher is in there? Or do I just give them to you guys who buy them later and then you win? Yes, I'm going to let... I'm going to let that happen. I'm not going to open them all. Don't worry. <laughs> but I, it did enter my mind. Um, golden voucher inside. So if you get a paper pumpkin box subscription, um, and I am not buying as many extras as I used to anymore. So don't count on getting one from me. If you want to do this, make sure you've subscribed. Um, by somebody tell me, I can never remember the date. The 10th, I believe, right? The 10th, you have to be subscribed by May 10th. Somebody will tell me in the comments. Um, your voucher will be worth $25 if you win. That's really fun. That's like Willy Wonka and the chocolate bars. <laughs> fun. It's like grown-up Willy Wonka. Okay, the 10th. Kimberly, thank you. So you have to be subscribed by the 10th. All right, Club Create. Um, I got Club Create out this month like four days early. I was really proud of myself. Um, <laughs> random fact, but, um, if you don't know, club creates the biggest thing I do every month. Um, hundreds of kits go out every month and, uh, this month was the biggest I've ever had. So I'm always proud of myself. Once I like finally get them out the door, I'm like, okay, I did it. But next month's club create is cup of tea or the tea boutique suite. Um, you'll get $20 in product, five projects, five make and takes, um, a PDF, a video, and it's $39. That includes shipping. You'll have the option to add on the bundle um, and a few other things, three new ink pads that we're using. You'll have that option as well. And what else was I going to say? Sign up for this by the 7th of May. That's why I get Paper Pumpkin confused because I can't remember those two dates, Paper Pumpkin and Club Create deadlines because they're not the same. Um, I am close to, again, turning this off. I hate to turn or subscriptions off, but, you know, I get to a point where it's just, you know, I reach like the max and we're very close to that. So if you want to subscribe, don't wait, do it now. Um, there is a link at the top of my blo blog that says Club Create and it is a subscription and it'll, um, you know, Charge you every month until you cancel, and you can cancel any time. All right, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. I sent this out a few days ago to everybody who've, who's ordered in, in April. Um, now, if you ordered yesterday, I didn't, I haven't sent it out yet. Um, everybody took advantage of the free shipping yesterday. This is a tutorial bundle featuring the New Horizons bundle or suite of products. There are 12 tutorials in here. Um, they're all videos each the PDF has links to all the videos, measurements and supply list, measurements for both Imperial and metric and um, 12 different designers, not just me. It's me plus 11 others. And my mine this month is a shaker with sand in it. So um, if you would like that, it is free with a $50 purchase um, from me online. And it's also available in my PDF store for $15. And my team gets it for free. So that is that. I've got to start working on next month. I haven't done it yet. Okay, product shares. Registration for paper and ribbon shares are open. A share is where you get either a quarter sheet or a half sheet of all the new paper. And a yard of all the new ribbon. 
Uh, registration is open until the 2nd because on the 3rd, I'm getting up really early in the morning and I'm ordering everything before anything sells out, fingers crossed, okay? So this is some of the new paper. You can either get, you know, like this, a six by 12 or a six by six. It's a really good way to get all of it for a fraction of the cost. Um, and then it kind of gives you an idea like, oh, I really loved this paper. I'm going to order a full pack of it. Um, or, oh, mm, I didn't really like the colors in this paper. I'm not going to order that pack of paper. Um, so it kind of helps you get your hands on it, feel, because things in the catalog, you know, they never do it justice. Um, ribbon also, I believe altogether there are 13 new ribbons, I think, 12 or 13. And um, if you buy both the ribbon and the paper share, you will get a share of this paper, which is the host paper, um, for free. Okay, that is only open until the, what did I say, the second. All right, the other thing, now all of this, I will, I'll put all the links here on um, Facebook and on YouTube when I'm done, um, but on today's PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com, all the Info and details and links are right here for you um, for those things. Um, you know, the other thing I was going to tell you, let me grab these cards over here. Um, hold on, hold on. I finished Shaded Summer Class to Go today. They are shipping out tomorrow. Um, and now I'm working on this class. There are only five spots left. Um, I'm only cutting a certain amount of, um, why does it say my video is interrupted? Are you guys there? Hello? All right, come on now. Don't do this to me. All right, looks like maybe we're back. Weird. Wow, Elaine, your club create arrived today. Good. Um, okay, that was weird. My, my um, iPad froze. <laughs> like panic. Anyway, shaded summer classic, classico kit. Um, goes out tomorrow if you ordered it. If you also ordered the Birds and Branches class, your Shaded Summer class kit will ship next week with this. I've already started cutting. Um, there are only five spots left um, for this class. If you want it, the dies and the stamps are sold out, so you're going to have to already have those, unfortunately. Um, but you will get six um, make and takes, um, a quarter pack of two different papers, some ribbon, and a pack of, I can't even remember now, a pack of embellishments. All right, so um, that is only open until it sells out or until um, early next week, okay? And that, that uh, information is right here on the PDF. Okay, next, oh, In Color Club. Okay, In Color Club. Now, here, hold on. In Color Club. It's a club I do every year when the new catalog comes out. It's a way of getting all the new in color stuff over five months and you get free stuff too each month. Now every year I'll post pictures of in color club and then people want to join after it's already started. You can't join in the middle. Like you have to start at the beginning. I, there's just no way to, I only do it for five months. I can't just keep, you know, carrying it on and on and on. So you have to sign up this month. May 2nd also is the deadline for that. This is kind of what your club, um, in color club kit will look like. It will have a free bonus embellishment in it. Um, at the, the last month, you'll get additional DSP um, or glimmer paper for free. I haven't decided yet. I don't know, I'm still working those details out, but you're gonna get a lot of free stuff, I promise. Um, and each month you'll get a different kit. So like one month you'll get Starry Sky, the next month you'll get Tahitian Tide, the next month you'll get, I almost called it Lemon Lime Twist, but it is Parakeet Party, okay? And uh, by the end of the five months, you'll have all the product for all five colors. It's a little bit like a layaway plan. You pay a little bit each month, and each month I send you a full color kit. And you get a handmade card for me as well. All right, so, um, <laughs> Michelle says, I need it. I want it all now club. Yes, <laughs> I'm a member of that club too. Um, you don't have to pay anything right now. I will send you an invoice for this. Um, 
on the 1st of May, the 2nd of May. Can't remember. I have all the details written down. I slept between now and then, and you know how that goes. I can't remember anything. So anyways, don't forget, if you want In Color Club, you've got to do it before it starts, if you want in. Okay, enough chatter. Let's talk about Facebook Friday today. Kite Delight over at pinkbucker.com. The PDF should be up. Should be. Hello. Hopefully somebody checked it. Um, if you like today's projects, you... Um, can put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, and I will send you um, the three make and takes for free. Uh, they look kind of like this when they come. You'll need the stamps and the ink, obviously the adhesive. I send you a little thank you tag. I do not send pre-stamped images, but I send you the kit for free um, next week. I cut it off on Monday at midnight, and on Tuesday I cut them all and I ship them all on Wednesday. Uh, please use this host code if you want them. If you don't want them, then don't use the host code. That's how I know if you wanted the make and takes or not. If your order is over $150, then don't use the host code because you're gonna get stamp and rewards, free stuff, and I'll still send you those make and takes for free. Okay, last thing is uh, door prizes. This week I'm giving away for the record. So all you have to do is share either on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know that you shared. Okay, good, I'm glad you guys, the PDF is up, thank you. I did it right this week, yay. Um, <laughs> so if you'd like a chance to win this adorable stamp set, uh, make sure you share. And in the comments, let me know that you shared. Last week's winners are Becky Rau Rauer, Rower. Becky, I have your mailing address. And Karen Berry. Karen, I don't believe I have your mailing address. So please message me. Let me know your mailing address. Thank you for sharing my video, ladies. I do appreciate it very much. All right. We are ready to start let me clean things up a little bit and we're gonna get started the first thing that we're gonna make is actually a case of a card and i showed you this card that i got when i was on my million dollar achievers trip i got this card from dawn griffith you guys know dawn she is a stampin administrator she's awesome and it was so cute and and just very I don't know, I just really loved it. So we're gonna copy this um, design using the Kite Delight. Now this card has a lot of pieces, okay? So you'll need to get that PDF. At the bottom, you'll see on the front page there, it has a lot of pieces. This, now here's another thing that I wanted to tell you guys. Stampin' Up! demonstrators get to pre-order product from the annual catalog, but we have limits on things. I'm a little bit nervous that I'm not gonna have enough of this paper for everybody who orders. So just know that if, you know, I could do something different though. Hmm, I just had an idea. I think I'll be okay, but just in case I might sub a color or something. Um, so just heads up on that. But you know what I was just thinking? I'll show you when we get there. I. I thought of something in my mind that would maybe solve that problem. <laughs> Funny how that works. Okay, so here it is. It opens like this. And, you know, I'm going to grab, I have, I think, a gift card right here. This will hold a gift card, too, like that. Like, you can put a little gift card down in the clouds like that. If you put your dimensionals in the right spot. All right? And then it opens like that. All right, so let's do our stamping first. All right, hopefully I don't mess this up. On my pre-recording, clean recording, I did, in fact, mess it up. <laughs> but I think I will not mess it up this time. Let me get all my pieces and make sure I have all the right. Okay, this one goes on the inside and this one goes on the side. Okay, I think we got it. We're gonna use this cute little um, kite. There's four kites in the stamp set and uh, they kind of range in size and design. I'm going to stamp this one in memento on just thick white. We're going to stamp, this one's going to be the one on the front. So we're going to stamp this kite tail like that. Okay. And, um, you know, I need to move that so I don't stamp on it. 
we're gonna stamp, let's see, what else did we need? Let's do the inside right here. We'll stamp that kite tail again. Kind of going off to the side like that. And what do I have in there? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's been a just it's been a couple hours and I can't remember what I did. We're gonna stamp this one. This is my favorite of the four kites. I don't know why. I like it though. All right, so then I'm gonna take, there's a little cloud. And the first brand new in color that I would like to introduce you to is Tahitian Tide. Tahitian Tide is very similar to the old Tempting Turquoise. So if you were a fan of Tempting Turquoise back in the day, you will be a fan of Tahitian Tide. I will probably call it Tempting Turquoise numerous times because we all know that that's how I roll. All right, so this is the piece that goes on the inside. This piece goes on the inside of the little green little book. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment in the middle of that in polished pink. I think polished pink goes really well with these colors, all of them. Polished pink is an in color, but it is not leaving. We have one more year with polished pink. All right, and then let's see, do we need clouds over here? We do. I shouldn't have even needed to ask. And I have them going off. Oh, I messed that one up. Did you guys see that? Let's see if I can fix it. Mm, all right, start over. Sometimes I ink my, my uh, stamps like this where half of it's hanging off the edge. Do you guys do that? Ah, so makes me so mad when I do that. All right, so then that means we're gonna have to re-stamp this one. Memento. All right, now let's get our stamp and blends. Did you guys take advantage of the free shipping sale yesterday? It was an awesome, I don't know what it is about free shipping, but I love free shipping. Free shipping gets me every time. Um, you know, I don't know why. It's like, it's a trigger for me to say, okay, <laughs> I will get that. Free shipping. And Stampin' Up! doesn't do free shipping very often. So, um, and, and our, our shipping is going up, or it already has gone up, I think. Yeah. Because, you know, everything has gone up. So that's an even, like, feels like an extra bonus. All right, so I did light polished pink, and I'm going to take the dark and just do, kind of go over the little lines like that. Add some color. Polished pink is my favorite pink too, you guys. It better, it better come back in a color refresh. We'll have a color refresh hopefully soon. Stampin' Up! refreshes our main colors from time to time just to keep things fresh. Um, and we are due for a color refresh. It, it's usually with a new annual catalog. So maybe next year. Who knows? You know, supply chain, I think the supply chain issue is causing some delays maybe in that. Supply chain. Ugh. I know. Will we ever return to normal? Like what normal used to be? I don't know. All right, so I am just gonna go like with the dark. I'm just kind of going around the edge of each of the little sections, just to add a little bit of dimension here. Um, there are clean recordings of this, which means each project has its own individual video over on YouTube. So if you wanna see this in closer up, it's hard to zoom in when I'm doing Facebook Live, but closer up, you'll be able to see it um, on YouTube. Or if you come back and want to watch something, I would suggest hopping over there. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. Please do. 
All right, polish pink. Add a little bit of color there in the middle. Like that. All right, now here is another new color. Parakeet Party. What a cute name, Parakeet Party. All right, and I'm gonna do light again in the, the little bows. Parakeet Party is very reminiscent of Lemon Lime Twist. I feel like it's kind of in between Lemon Lime Twist and Granny Apple. Lemon Lime Twist was a little more yellow, I would think. We compared them, when was that, last week? Week before? So if you wanna see that, go back on the, li on the live video. All right, now, this guy, these don't have dies, but you guys, these are super easy to cut out. My scissors are missing. Here they are. Um, super easy, just a straight line. Nothing too difficult. So don't, don't say, oh, here she is making me fussy cut again. You can do this, okay? You can. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this little kite here um, with a dimensional like that. Now, remember last week we took pool party and we went around the monkeys? We're gonna do the same thing here with this uh, Tahitian Tide. And just stay real close to the black line. It's just gonna help give it kind of some dimension, make it kind of pop off the... Uh, page. Now, you know, this tail, this tight tail, one end has a long string attached to it. Or, okay, let me rephrase that. I'm also going to go underneath this kite like this. So right here, see how it has this long skinny line? And this side does not. I can't decide which is supposed to be the bottom. Because, you know, if you look at it, you would think that the long tail would be at the end. But then it makes it hard, you know, to put your kite on there because it's overlapping the <laughs> the bows. If you guys have a stamp set, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just kind of weird. All right, last thing we need to do is get our Wink of Stella and add some Wink of Stella to the clouds. You know, we could look in the catalog and see how they did it there. I think that's one of those things that there's no wrong way. All right, so now there's no die cuts. Oh, I take that back. I take that back, there is a die cut. We're gonna cut some clouds. Let me bring this over. So for this part right here, you just want some clouds, not all identical. See how I did the die kind of diagonal that way? So take your cloud, stitched cloud border. This is from the basic border dies. And we're gonna cut out some clouds. I'm gonna do two at a time. tried to get my nails this week to look like our new sweet sorbet, but I think it's a little bright. <laughs> Came out a little bright. You can never tell, tell when you look at them in the store. You're like, mm, how's that going to look? All right. Now, catalogs. Who's gotten their catalog? If you requested a catalog from me, Majority of them went out from directly from Stampin' Up. But if you are a Club Create member and you requested a catalog, I included it in your Club Create kit. And some of you are just getting them from me because it was after the deadline where I had to submit the, uh, the catalog order to Stampin' Up. So hopefully you guys have looked. Um, one thing I encourage you to do is look for the little new symbol. Um, it's a little like gold, like an N or something, because there's so many new things that you'll miss unless you see that gold N. And then one of the things that is new is the magnetic platform for both the cut and emboss and the mini cut and emboss, but it doesn't have that because it's not really new. 
it's just coming back after a long absence. <laughs> All right, so here's the piece that I feel like I'm going to not have enough of. This piece right here. This is a piece of um, Tahitian Tide, and it closes like this. So this is the piece I'm worried that I'm not going to have enough of because it takes a full six by six sheet. But then when I was telling you that, I was thinking, you know what? Really, you just need that middle section. So then I could get three pieces out of each piece. So... That's probably what I'll do, because look, we're gonna cover it up mostly, the whole thing like that. And we won't need, we will not need a whole piece. See, I just had to talk it out and I solved the problem. <laughs> All right, so here is where you wanna strategically put your dimensionals, because if you put them strategically like this, like down at the bottom, and then probably, one on each side, you can put your gift card down in there. All right. So, well, I probably didn't put that one up high enough because look, oh well. So look, see, like that, cute. If I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, so the first layer I put down flat Okay, and then the second layer we put on with dimensionals. It's it's getting close to that end of the year time. Oh, I don't like how that looks identical. I should have done it like that. Oh, well. Um, end of the school year where you're going to need to tell your teachers thank you. So you, this could be a good teacher gift. Now, this DSP, did you guys notice? Here's the pattern I use, but look at the back. It's plaid and it's adorable. So all of the new um, DSP packs of, you know, the Color Family DSP packs will have those two prints. All right, so we'll put this one inside right there. And that goes like that and that goes like that. Now, here's the little parakeet party, the little the little book that goes on the front like this. But we have to remember to put our ribbon on here before we add anything else. So I'm just gonna lay that ribbon there and I'm gonna adhere a piece of Tahitian Tide right there. That looks like it's not the right size there. Okay, all right, so we've sandwiched that in and then this one goes on top of that like that, okay? And then this one goes inside here, like that. So you have this like little book on top of your card. So we're gonna adhere that right there in the middle. Okay, so probably be really generous with your adhesive right there. And then lay that right in the center, like that. And then you're gonna tie it around the front to keep it closed. So quite the fancy fold, but I also feel like it's really easy because it doesn't have anything complicated. It's just cardstock and DSP, really. Those clouds are probably the most complicated part. So cute, right? What do you guys think? That's a really fun, fun, fancy fold. And thank you to Dawn for the design. All right, so I've introduced you to Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party. Don't they look good together? Now, if you're not a bright fan, these colors may not be your favorite, and I get it. Some people are not bright fans. You might like Subtles better or Regals, um, but these brights are probably some of my favorite ever. I love them. Okay, Let's move on to our next, let me see, I need this ink pad and I need that ink pad. I can't remember what all I need. So I'm just gonna leave it all here. The next two projects are 3D projects. And I didn't really find anything specifically kite related. However, I found things that were the colors of our new, Colors, all right? 
So let's look at our first one. Let me get my mess cleaned up here. Our first little project is, and you know what? This is the wrong one. I have another one. What did I do with it? Here it is. This one has too big of a circle on it. So let me show you this one. So in here is a strawberry and dark chocolate Kit Kat. The color, I feel like, is pretty close to the sweet sorbet color. So that's what we're going to make, a Kit Kat holder. This will hold any kind of Kit Kat this size. So if you want to, there's a new Kit Kat coming. And I desperately was trying to find it this week because it is blueberry muffin Kit Kat. And it's not in stores yet um, because I think it would go really well with the colors that we're going to use on our next project. But couldn't couldn't find it. So it's coming. Their, their website says by the end of April. So it's already it said this month. So I'm assuming end of April because, I mean, that's all that's left. The end of April. All right, let's make the holder first. This is Sweet Sorbet. Um, my nails, I guess, are a little too pink, but it's very pinky red, and I love it. It's adorable. All right, the measurements here are right here. This is a seven by seven piece, seven by seven, seven inch by seven inch piece of sweet sorbet cardstock. Let me move those. One side, and it doesn't matter what side because they're both the same, you're going to do half an inch, three and a fourth three and three fourths and six and a half. And then turn it and you're gonna do half an inch, four and a half, oop, four and a half, <laughs> that was four and a fourth, um, and five. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna make that the back side. All right, so now, bone folder. You wanna burnish all your lines. You're gonna need these little button magnets too. I've linked them today on um, today's blog post. You can also use little Velcro, um, what do they call them? Tabs, little Velcro circles. But I don't know, I find those, I, I have a hard time getting those to stick. Okay, so this card or this box it's just gonna have a flap that flaps over like that. I didn't leave any of the side tabs like I normally do, um, just to kind of keep it simple. So if this is gonna be the back, we're gonna cut everything off except for this section and this section right here. Okay, so all of this and all of that. So just use your scissors. Cut right down the middle of that score line. And make sure I stop at the correct score line. Like that. All right, now down here at the bottom, um, we're gonna fold this over like that. So the opposite corner down here, you wanna cut that one off. Okay, and then we're just gonna snip these like that. And I'm gonna cut the corners off of these, these little ones. All right. So I'm gonna, sh I am just, go oh, nope, hold on. We gotta round some corners. This is retiring this um, detailed trio punch. And there's not a replacement for a corner rounder in the new catalog. So I'm a little concerned about that. <laughs> I mean, if you have it, you're good. But for me, for demonstration purposes, I don't know what I'm gonna use. All right, so round those, and then take your adhesive, and we're just gonna fold that right in to there, like that, okay? And then, Fold those in and fold the back in first. And then I'm gonna use tear and tape because it's just easier because this is skinny. Like that. And like that. 
Okay, it almost looks like a little crayon box, doesn't it? All right, so I have some pieces of the Sweet Sorbet DSP. This is gonna be in the same pack as the Tahitian Tide. The in color packs have all five colors and it'll have eight pieces of, um, I'm just trying to think of which side I want to use. It'll have eight pieces of each color. Now I cut this way too small, <laughs> but whatever. I noticed it yesterday and I didn't fix it. We're gonna cover most of it anyway. And then this one isn't the right size either. I don't know what I was doing. Oh well. All right, so here is where you need to get your little magnets, okay? They're really inexpensive too. They're not very expensive and you get a bunch of them. We have like a hundred. And the thing that I have found the best, and I don't know why, but to use two glue dots on each side, okay? So two. So I'm gonna put that there like that. And then I'm gonna get two more and put them on top of there. And I'm gonna close that. Make sure that it's nice and square and press that down. I should have put my Kit Kat in here first. This Kit Kat I found at just, I don't know, like Walmart, Target, they're everywhere. All right, and then you just kind of want to press that down. All right, so there's your little, it's cute, isn't it? It's like a little, like a little crayon box. I probably should have put that lower. I'm thinking it needed to be a little bit lower. Oh, well, I did it lower over here. I don't know why I did that. That's all right, because we're going to put a tag there and it's going to be just super cute. All right, we're going to stamp the largest kite in Pale Papaya. Another in color that is coming back. This is not a new in color. And um, this is one of those large photopolymer stamps that you might need a foam mat underneath. Okay, Pale Papaya on basic white. And then we're gonna use, nope, that's for the next project. I was thinking we're gonna do the cloud, the cloud punch, but we are not. Um, we're gonna stamp that tail, and I'm gonna need my chamois for this, because we're gonna do it in a different color. And we're gonna stamp the tail in, I need a little piece of scrap paper right there in sweet sorbet, okay? And then we'll grab our sweet sorbet. I'm gonna use my light sweet sorbet to color that in. You guys were funny sharing all your tattoo stories with me last week. So funny. My daughter came home and tattoos, not bad, small-ish, it's not tiny, but it could have been much worse. Carla, if you're here, your story, I just saw your story today, and oh my gosh, it made me laugh so hard. She said her daughter got a tattoo of something that her mother used to say, and she hated that her mother said it, so her daughter got it tattooed <laughs> on her, and she, where you can see it, I'm like, Carla, that's, Hilarious. I mean, not hilarious, but hilarious. <laughs> Why do they do these things to us? Why? Ugh. These rebel children. All right, so we're going to cover up some of those because it needs to go down a little bit lower like that. This right here, I didn't point out what this is. This is one of our new little stitched circle shapes. It, they're called Stylish Shapes. They have both the stitching on the inside and the outside of the shape so that you can use the negative space when you cut it out. It leaves stitching on like the window. So if you were to cut out the circle and you use the negative space, it would have that stitching on it as well, which is really kind of cool. All right, another year flies by. Happy birthday. The sentiments in this set are great. I think they're really good. 
All right, bring back over the cut and emboss machine. I should get my little one. I don't know where my plates are. I did order new plates. But who knows? Who knows? All right, I can't wait for that magnetic platform. I need it. Um, yes, Denise, I made a project with that Key Lime Kit Kat last year with the Flamingo set, and they are so good. So, 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 so delicious. I love Key Lime anyway, but those Kit Kats are good. All right, so see how that left like the stitching around the opening? I think that's pretty cool. All right, so now let's bring this back, get our dimensionals. Oh, I forgot the ribbon. I need to do the ribbon too. Um, and we'll put, let's see, I think I'll put, hmm, we'll put them just on either side like that so it'll be flat. All right, and then I cut out two clouds, give it a whirl, guys. Um, from the Tahitian Tide DSP and we'll hide one like back here and then we'll do another one up here like that fun now the ribbon is so fancy it's like um, sparkly kind of metallic and it's very thin I think it's maybe like a an eighth of an inch very skinny, which I like because it doesn't bulk up your project, um, especially those cards. And then we're just going to tie that around like the lid up there, like that. Get that centered. There we go. And then last but not least, we're just going to adhere it to this front flap right here. Like that. And there you go. Easy. Cute. See, I used the wrong size circle for that one. It's too big. I like the smaller one. I mean, I guess it works. You get more, you know, you can show more of the, the tail of the kite. All right. So there you go. Project number two with Sweet Sorbet and our Tahitian Tide. So which of the five colors is your favorite? I really don't think I could pick a favorite. Not yet. I haven't, I haven't used them enough for that because I really like all of them a lot. Tahitian Tide, um, Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet. I, I think I, I used Tahitian Tide on all three projects today, so maybe that's my favorite, and I just didn't know it yet. Sorry, thirsty. Okay, one more project. This one features our favorite little Debbie. I have walked by these unicorn cakes for many, many, many months. They've been out for a long time and I haven't bought them. And then last week I, I did like a, you know, like I came back and I said, you know what? That has Tahitian Tide and Orchid Oasis and Sweet Sorbet on it. So I had to buy it. They are unicorn cakes, sparkling strawberry. I have not opened them trying to be really, really good. Um, but yummo, they look really good. They're soft. They're like squishy. All right, so we're just gonna make a tall skinny box. This is Orchid Oasis. The only color I didn't use was Starry Sky. So I guess Starry Sky is my least favorite. I mean, I don't, I don't not like it. I just didn't use it. All right, you're gonna need, let me get my notes. It's right here at the bottom, so don't feel like you have to write it down. Um, or Orchid Oasis, seven and three fourths by five and a half. On the short side, we're gonna score it at one and a fourth, two and a half, three and three fourths, and five. Turn it, score it at one and a fourth, and six and a half. Tejan Tide Perry Bard. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I do that when I'm shopping, Liz. That's funny. Um, so, Patricia, you would say Starry Sky is your favorite. Michelle says Tide. Kimberly says Tide. Oh, a lot of Tahitian Tide. Orchid Oasis is pretty. Those those of you that are purple people, you're going to love that Orchid Oasis color. Okay. So, now, yes, I know 
we're not using, we are not using a unicorn stamp. These are unicorn cakes. I don't care. <laughs> it has the colors, so we had to use it. And I am looking for my ink pad. Did I put it away? Yeah, I did. Here it is. Orchid Oasis. We're going to stamp that cloud all over. I really like tone on tone stamping like this where you use the same color ink and this on the same color cardstock. So I'm just gonna kind of, you know, make a little pattern, make them kind of not exactly the same as we go down. It won't matter because, I mean, let's be honest, they're gonna rip into it to, to get whatever's inside. They're not gonna notice your clouds but you'll notice and I'll notice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this part because this is the bottom. I'm not worried about the bottom being stamped. Um, okay, let's close that. That Orchid Oasis, I'm not a purple person, but I do really, really like that Orchid Oasis. Um, bone folder, where'd you go? Here we go. All right, burnish those lines. Get them all nice and crisp. And you've got one skinny tab right here. So on either side of that, you're gonna cut off that skinny little rectangle and cut that tab right there at an angle. Okay, and then just snip, 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 snip. Snip and one last snip. Okay. Grab your adhesive. I'm using stamp and seal because it's fast and easy. Fold that in half, and there's your box, kind of like a tube. So I want that seam right there to be at the back. So I'm gonna have this as the back. I'm gonna fold in the sides first, and then I will fold in the back and then fold in the front last so that you have that nice round edge there. All right, so let's put in our little Debbie. I linked up today with a little Debbie snack finder um, over on today's blog post. So you can um, find them in your area. The little Debbie snack finder has you put in your zip code and then it tells you, okay, the Walmart that's three miles from your house or the Kroger that's half a mile from your house or whatever, they have them. Um, I also linked you to them on um, on Amazon in case you want to see them. They're, they are more expensive on Amazon, so if you can get them locally, they're going to be much more affordable. Okay, so I left that open so that our friend doesn't have to rip our box apart. How dare they? Um, <laughs> to get into the treat because I expect them to display my cute box on their shelf somewhere when they are done eating their their snack because I, you know, I mean, come on. All right, let's clean. Have we used this? We have not. All right, we're gonna use the cloud punch to punch this out. This does look like it needs to be cleaned. I've told you guys this story many times um, how one of my downline made um, a little pumpkin, some kind of pumpkin tree for everybody in the office. She's an office manager. And that night she went around emptying all the trash cans and uh, like half of the people had just like thrown the box in the trash. <laughs> and she was so mad. I'm like, oh yes, that, that would upset me too. That would definitely upset me. All right. Um, you know, I think when I originally did this, I may have colored this polished pink, but we are focusing on the end colors today. So we're gonna use Sweet Sorbet. It is much redder than polished pink, but either one will go just fine. All right, so light, and then give each little square a frame. Did I do that backwards? No, I didn't. I just gave it a lot of color. Dark, dark, dark around each frame. Boop, 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 easy peasy, like that. Okay, and then you can go back with your light, just kind of blend everything together. 
That's so funny. Chrissy says, not in my work. If it's closed with ribbon or adhesive, they won't open it. I have to use Velcro or magnet or clips. Or something. <laughs> That's funny. Well, at least I don't throw in the trash. <sighs> All right. Cut this out with your snips. I mean, you know, if you're not a crafter, you don't really know, like, what goes into making something. And, you know, you might just toss it, but come on. All right, Cloud Punch fits this pretty good. You have to kind of wiggle it around to get it all in there. Now, one of the things that I love about this new catalog with the in-color product selection that we have is each in-color has a bolt of twine. And you guys know how I feel about twine. So this is the Tahitian Tide twine. I'm gonna just stick it down there with a glue dot and put my little my little kite there. And then I'm gonna take it and just kind of curl it like that. And I'll put that there. And we'll cut that off and put our little cloud right there. Oh, I think we need another one. And that's it. This is a really easy project. Really easy. All right, so here's the polished pink. Oh, I forgot the bow. All right, let's make a little tiny bow. Maybe the polished pink is the better choice. I don't know. They are, they are similar. They're very similar. All right. Little glue dot and we are done. We have basketball plans, don't be jealous. We've got a two hour basketball practice tonight. We've got a all day tournament tomorrow with possible games on Sunday. I know, don't be jealous, don't be jealous. <sighs> we had a soccer game on Wednesday. You know, just living the life. <laughs> Hope you guys have better weekend plans than I do. And it's going to be pretty weather. All right, you guys. So there we go. There's our third project. I have a bonus project for you on Monday. Let me show you. It's a technique. And it's the alcohol ink background that you do with your Stampin' Blends. And here I've used the Starry Sky, the Orchid Oasis, and the um, uh, Polish Pink. And I will show you how to do that on a video on Monday. And then it uses that same dye that Chris, that card I showed you at the beginning. Um, I just, look, polished pink, it goes so well with these colors. It really does. So be looking for that on Monday. Now remember, if you would like these make and takes for free, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight. Here's the host code. It's also on today's PDF, okay, at the top. If you don't want the make and takes, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Just don't use that host code so that I don't waste my time and money sending them to you if you don't want them. Oh, I forgot to add these, you guys. I was so excited about my little twine. Let's add a few of these little iridescent rhinestones. Right about like that, maybe like four. And now we're done. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Now remember, there will be no Facebook Friday next week. Um, Heather, any tips on fixing an oversaturated ink pad? Yes, I have several tips for you. She says, I have two new ones that I can't use because they leave the stamped image all bubbly. Okay, so take your, first thing to try is to take your ink pad and take your bone folder and scrape that ink like this. Okay, like scrape it. See, you can see there how it's kind of, it's kind of removing everything to the edge. Now I'm staying in my bone folder, but that's okay. It'll wash off. Um, hold on. The other thing you can do is get a paper towel like this and just like soak it. Soak, 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 soak it. Sometimes, um, Sometimes that happens, I find that that happens on photopolymer stamps because of kind of the texture of the slick photopolymer. So if it's specifically a photopolymer stamp, you can kind of take like um like an eraser and erase the photopolymer stamp to kind of 
not roughen it up, but you know, kind of remove some of that slickness, if that makes sense. Now here's the drastic option, okay? Now I don't think this is a Stampin' Up! recommendation, but I can tell you that I know people who've done this. I've had friends who have accidentally inked their ink pad with the wrong ink, right? The wrong color refill. And you can take it to the sink and run water through it until it's like mostly all gone, until it starts running clear and re-ink it and it will work. Uh, that Now, I haven't done that myself, but I have several friends who've done that and they say it works, okay? That's last resort. But I really think if you do that scraping and then use your paper towel, um, I think that that will most likely help. All right? All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Think about me while you're having fun <laughs> on Saturday while I'm stuck in the gym all day. Um, I appreciate you guys, and I'll be back on the blog next week with lots of new projects, but not I will not be live until the following week. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. Let's see if I can figure out what's going on with my phone. Here we go. Bye.